Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from Mr. Hyatt's book and the topic is circuit analysis in the test domain, chapter number 15. And here I'll be discussing example 15.1 and example 15.2. And this is on the request of a student. So straight away on example 15.1, calculate the voltage VT shown in figure. Given the initial condition, this is initial condition. This is the circuit, it's RL circuit, the and it's in time domain. So the first thing we got to do is convert the circuit into what is known as Laplace domain, or also it is called S domain or frequency domain. Same thing. Okay, now for inductor from time domain to S domain. There are two options. This is the series combination and this is parallel combination. Uh, it is better to use series combination in this case because this is a series circuit. And that is what has been done in the book. So I'll follow the same. Now we'll use this uh, transform uh, from EAT into S domain is one over S plus A. So three, 3 e raised to the power minus 8t ut will become 3 divided by s plus 8 by this formula. And then we need to convert sl. sl will be 2s because l is 2 here. And also this li0. So li0 will be l is 2 and i0 is 1 ampere given in the question. So this is 2. So now we can draw the S domain circuit. So this will be the S domain circuit value of this distance. And for inductor, we are using the combination and putting the values. Now we'll solve this. We need to solve for VT. So VT in S domain is VS. So we need to find this current VS. And to find VS, we need to calculate first of all IS. So let's do that first of all. So by KVL, we are going from here, negative sign, so 3 divided by S plus 8, plus I is going through 1 and 2S, so I 1 plus 2S, and here it is minus 2. So solving step by step, you can follow it. I yes. For the simplifying. And now look here, the denominator, the first term is uh, has single s, but the second term has 2s. 2s, we got to make it single, single also. So we'll divide this by 2, and to balance, we'll divide the numerator also by 2. So this will be s plus 0 0.5, and this will be s plus 9.5. Now this is in proper form. Uh, for converting into inverse Laplace transform. So now we'll proceed. The IS we have found, now we need to find VS. So VS can be written as 2SIS. This is 2S multiplied by IS and minus 2. And now we'll put the value of IS in this and simplify. So simplifying, I hope you can follow all these steps. You pause the video and then check everything. So this is our final form. And now we can take the partial fraction. Uh, even the numerator has 2s, doesn't matter. We are only bothered about the denominator. It should have single s. So by partial fraction, we can write it as a divided by the first term plus b divided by the second term. Okay, so we are here, and now we'll use the res, uh, residue method, and uh, details, uh, two methods are given, uh, residue method or algebraic method, in Alexander and Sadiku's book, page 694. So if you have forgotten, you can check here. Anyway, uh, in the book, the residue method has been followed, so I'll also follow the same. So what we do in the residue method, that we for A, we write the denominator of A multiplied by Vs. Now this whole thing is Vs. 
and then we put a condition by putting this equal to zero. So S plus eight equal to zero means S is equal to minus eight. So this condition, now we'll put the value of S. So this is S, simplifying S plus eight and S plus eight get canceled. So we are here, now we'll plug in the value of S. So solving the answer is 3.2. So A is 3.2. Same way for B. Uh, multiply the denominator of B with Vs. From here we get this condition. And simplifying, B is minus 1.2. So Vs is 3.2 divided by the denominator and minus 1.2 divided by its denominator. Now we are ready to go into the time domain by taking inverse Laplace transform. So we have we are in this form. We'll go back into the time domain form. So the answer will be uh, 3.2 e raised to the power minus 8t because alpha is 8 ut, and similarly from here 1.2 e raised to the power minus 5t ut. And in compact form, we can take ut common. So taking ut common. So this is the final answer. So this was 15.1. Uh, 15.2 is similar question except that here inductor is replaced by the capacitor. So going into S domain, this is the circuit now we'll use uh, from time domain of capacitor to S domain of capacitor. Now two options here. This is in parallel form and this is in uh, series form. You can use both. Uh, but since this has been used in the book, so I'll also follow that. So you can uh, remain in synchronization with the book. The only thing I'll change here, that here he is writing for capacitor, he's writing in admittance form, Ys is equal to Sc. This when you start writing equation, this will create problem. So we'll write in Z form. Now Z, you know, is 1 over Y. So Zs is 1 over Sc. So we'll use this. So equivalent circuit will now look like this, changing the capacitor with the equivalent circuit, one over SC and CV zero. Now we'll find the S domain values for each of these. So UT is one over S, so nine UT will be nine over S, nine over S, then one over SC, plugging in the value it will be two over S, CV0, this value, C is 0 0.5, V0 is given here, minus 2. So we found CV0. Now we'll plug in the values, all these. And now this is our circuit in uh, S domain. We have to find VCT, that is VCS in S domain. So we'll put a VC here because this voltage is same as the voltage here. And now we can solve it by nodal analysis. For that, we withdraw the currents, entering, leaving, leaving. Write the nodal equation, entering. This one leaving Vc divided by 2s, and this one is Vc minus 9s divided by s. Why minus? Because this voltage source current is in opposite direction with the other one. So we'll write it minus 9x. Simplifying. And we are here, from here, Vc will be in this form. Now here also we can see that in denominator we have 3s. We have to keep it simple. So we divide it by 3, both numerator and denominator. So we can be in this shape. So this is our final shape. And now we can use partial fraction to solve this. So partial fraction, A divided by the first term plus B divided by the second term by residue method. I hope you can now follow this. A is 9 and B is minus 11. And so VC is 9 over S minus 11 over S plus 2, 3. And now from here we can take the inverse Laplace transform. From here, we can take 
this value and this one in time, do uh, time domain will be e minus a t. So our answer will be for this it will be 9 ut minus 11 e raised to the power minus 2 t over 3 ut. Taking ut common, this is in the compact form. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.